Hello YouTube, this is a video that explains how to use the DSNM Studio 4.4 uh, Currently this version is a beta version It is only uh, available to people who are uh, subscribed to the Patreon of um, of uh, I don't remember his name um, Yes Mio Maridus. He has a Patreon and uh, once you're subscribed you can download this uh, uh, this program and then you can use it. There's an older version of this program but it will not work with uh, um, Elden Ring. It will only work with Dark Souls 3. So be careful when you download this one because we know for sure that this wouldn't work for Elden Ring and you would get an error. Anyways, so whenever you open the program, you need to, to go to a file and then open and then you get, you should go to game and then CHR. Anyways, so you should be able to see this file. So once you see it, it's called c40s.anibnd.dcx. Uh, so you double click on this file and whatever it says, do you want to load a different model we don't need that for now so we can click no so it's going to load some things now there are some problems within the program because I've already opened the file and, I, and now I'm opening it, it again so it gives an error so okay let me open it again okay now the first thing that happens whenever you open the f this program is that whenever you click here nothing happens you need to maximize the program in order for the button to work this is a bug within the, within the program so you double click on this you hit no and you wait for a moment and now uh, first of all you go to help and show basic help window and this shows you most of the things that you need to learn uh, in order to use the program. Now if we scroll a little bit um, we can see some animations that I have uh, put a name for. So I have this so this is using goods, uh, using a summon sign, um, looking for an empty item, uh, a throw, weapon sheath or I should, I should probably call this weapon coding but anyways, so whenever I change the name, how do I change the name? Well, I go to uh, edit current animation name or hit F2 and I can change that. Or I could go to the properties and there are more properties to change from here. But generally, I don't work with these. So, uh, so these are the animations. Now, one thing that you should, one thing to notice here is that Whenever you're watching an animation, you can click, uh, you can hold the mouse here to drag and watch the animation. You can skip one frame to the right or one frame to the left using these buttons or the arrow keys on your keyboard to see the animation clearly. And uh, you can also hover, uh, sorry, hold with your mouse to see the, the animation in full. Now, by default, the animation doesn't look like this. I have added these. Um, the idea here is that I've added these to this time frame or to this frame so that I can uh, cancel my uh, healing early. So I can see here that he has used the flat the flask and now he has lo he is finished. He's about to lower his hand and at this moment I can skip the whole animation, which is about. Um, um, how much is this? 0 0.3 seconds. Uh, it, it's about 0 0.7 seconds, but but it's but it's more than that because there's this flask animation three, and uh, also this these are modified. They don't look like this. Usually they are a bit like this. They are unsorted. But anyways, I've changed them here too, just in case I forgot. Just in case that I forgot to press the button here, I can press it there. But it doesn't matter. So. Here we have the guard animation, the cancel guard, which means that whenever this happens, uh, whenever this uh, this event happens, the player can uh, 
cancel this current animation and start guarding or th they can start moving or, or they can start dodging or use goods and so on or maybe s switch a weapon so these are the things that you can uh, mess with if you want to change this animation you could just uh, g change these animations maybe put them a little bit later or or uh, earlier so you could just uh, hold the mouse and drag them left or right or maybe you would like to drag the whole thing to the left you can select them all and then hover with your mouse here until you see this uh, double arrow sign and then you can drag it over to the beginning and you could always control and uh, scroll down with your my with your mouse to uh, to be able to see the, the right side now I can see that these are not equal let's set them to be equal just for the purpose of demonstration okay so we are set and we are good to go so now we know we know what these okay yes so now we know what these animations look like uh, sorry what they is what these animations mean uh, another thing that you might be interested in is adding a new animation I'm I'm currently unable to find a way to add a new animation but what I generally generally do is just hit copy or control C and then control V and now I have my new animation here I can click on it and I can click with this arrow to see all these animations now I don't know what they all do but I know for sh for a fact that this is flag is dodging so whenever you use this that means in this during this time from 0 to around 1 second uh, the player will have inv invinci invincibility so this controls the iframes um, yes I've already worked with a I've already done a mod here that changes the iframes let me show you how it looks like um, I believe it was called A27 um, 25, 26, 27 something. You can see that these are all the animations. Okay, I'm currently unable to find this, but I do remember for a fact that it was 27, maybe here. Yes, so these are the animations that I have modified you can see that there are cancel dodge animations in here <coughs> and <coughs> and uh, sorry not the cancel dodge I'm sorry these are these are the ones <coughs> that I added it says flag as dodging so uh, this is the time frame at which the animation has iframes so it's from 0 seconds until around 0 0.786 seconds it's about it's exactly 24 frames now let me show you what you need to do let's say that I want to drag this to 28 frames so what I need to do is click anywhere here and I can click uh, the right arrow button to see here that I have 28 and now I can select these drag them to the right but be careful drag them to the to the black line and not the blue line because the blue line is wherever you started the black line is where the arrow pointed or the, the right arrow pointed so now you have the iframe set until uh, 28 seconds you can see that every category you can see here that I have 110, 111, 12, 13 and so on so whenever I reach um, yeah so this is 120 and this is 117 the beautiful thing about this animation or this scheme of numbering is that they have all the, the relative numbers together so these are the uh, light animations and these are the medium animations and these are the heavy load animations you can see that uh, the player stutters uh, while he's in it, while he's uh, rolling so he's having some difficulty because this is uh, what happens when you roll and this is the over overweight roll I guess um, these are the directions left right back or whatever so you can name these but the problem is that there's no way to export these names currently I've contacted the developer and he said he is interested in making one because as you know here in the yapt whenever we look at the parameters we can just go to import stock row names and we can have all the names here listed so it's a very easy task to do 
you have all the names you know each one and what it does so yeah we don't have yet we don't have that yet but we do have this uh, this is from the creators of cheat engine the cheat engine table uh, I've just covered this today they have a spreadsheet for Elden Ring and this spreadsheet is getting um, is getting uh, some some inputs you can see that there are these are the armors these are these are the talismans now these are easy to extract because they are already there in the apt they just have to um, I guess translate them to other languages and put them all together it's a it's kind of a different uh, difficult task but here you can see that there are not much of animations you can see that they started with 6000 so um, yes because here there are lots of values before the 6000 these are all the 5000 values now bear in mind that if you see 5000 that doesn't mean that there are 5000 values or 5000 files you can see here that there are around four files and it jumps that one to 100 every category has one thing I guess um, okay so this is the guarding animation another guarding animation another guarding animation and this is just something else you see so this is just something else that doesn't have anything to do with the previous one so it is not named zero 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 one twenty or one thirty it is named twenty so this is something else so here I guess this is the falling animation another falling animation see that they all be belong to the same category so we expect that we reach until this and here sh there should be something else yeah this is after when you fall like your um, when 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 the you died screen comes up um, your animation goes out and there's one thing to mention here is that, which is that your character is the, the game understands your character like this like you have these fingers um, and you have this uh, this is your leg and this is your feet uh, this is your foot so this, these, this is the, your left hand your right hand this is your head this is how the game understands the player I guess these are uh, these small things are the hitboxes so don't don't be scared if you saw this because this is how the game models things and what the program does is just uh, put an overlay over this so you can that you can see the character and by the way you can click with your mouse and hold it and move it left and right to see what is happening uh, you can see that the character now is moving a little bit now he's falling now yeah so uh, there are some things to consider too so um, sometimes you would find something called SFX and sometimes VFX uh, there are some things related to sound in here so you might find some events that are related to sound like whenever there's a parry there's a specific timing that the sound starts in so yeah um, now if you want to know more about these things you could go here you could see some of these or you could go to yapt you could go to this page and I'm going to show you how to reach this page in a moment you could go here to wrap yapt room bear uh, produced by Bowser and you go to ER documentation and then you scroll down to moveset TAE list and he has made a short list but a very powerful one uh, it is very helpful it tells you where the mount animations are the dismount the jump the crouch and in the in the top you could find all the weapons that you have in the game so whenever you see 20 let's say I want to go to the claw animations so I I would go here collapse all because I don't want to see all the files and yes by the way this file that we have opened C uh, four zeros has lots of files in, in it and uh, you need to know which file you're going to open so now I'm going to open the file A22 which is this one so these should be the attacks for the claw yeah they look like the attacks for the claw now there are some animations for one hand there are some animations for two hands um, for for weapons in general I don't know about the claw itself but I think you get the the idea so this is whenever you jump 
these are the animations when you jump and by and and be, ca be careful because these are the way the animations I think after you land so you will not find the cancel animation in here but you will find it in here so we should be able to find the cancel animation there they are see this is the cancel uh, goods and this is the cancel to movement so at this instant at this exact instant the player can move but um, a little bit less than that maybe around one second than th before that or something the player can um, s weapon switch and be uh, well before that they can dodge it's not the same timing I don't know why they have this complex system I like to keep them all in the same time but anyways it is what it is so this is this is the animation I can look for it uh, I can look at it from different angles I can click the middle mouse button to revert to the default position this is how the RAM how much RAM is used how much uh, clear memory is used for the program these are the FPS data, data values and you can see that the animation keeps moving whenever you want it to stop you just, just click you could just click here or you could click uh, space um, yeah so this is it uh, yeah so this is this is how the animation looks like I'm not sure what this button does uh, this is the loop okay when whenever you want the animation to play once you can click once or you could cl click loop uh, this takes you a little bit to the left this takes you a little bit to the right we already discussed this and what, what else do we need these are the animations um, you could mess with these things um, the playback speed so whenever you want to see animation uh, slowly you could use this so this is how the animation looks like in slow motion you could take it you could take it back to 100 and uh, well yes these are the general things these are the simulations so if you don't want to hear the sound effects if you don't want to hear the other things that are anticipated with this you could just disable it from here mm. I believe that's it uh, this is this is mostly how you use this program to model the animations in Elden Ring or even Dark Souls 3. I haven't seen a video on YouTube explaining this, so this is what I've learned through experimentation. And this is the animation f when when you're on the horse and you want to hit someone. I think this is the light attack, and this is the the heavy attack. Yeah, this is the light one, and this is the heavy one and these are for the right arm if we move a little bit we could see some animations for the left arm as well there it is some animations for the left arm and so on so like we said we have some animations let me show you some animations for the colossal we know that the colossals are 31 the colossal weapons so I'm going to scroll down a little bit because I know where they are so this is the two edge landing. I was working on a mod that cancels the attacks of the colossal weapons and the colossal uh, swords early. So uh, this is this is what I came up with. So whenever you land, this is a landing animation. You could see you could see the vibration. See, so this is this is some kind of a vibration because he just landed. Um, so this is this is on the ground. Yeah, so we could see some animations here in the air, and the next one is also in the air. And here, this is what happens when you uh, hit uh, when you when you click the double uh, hit button, but you're in air. So this is what happens. Your character keeps uh, gets stuck in air, and then this is another animation. But what I need to set what I, what I want from here is this. So this is what happens after you do the double jump, uh, sorry, the jump attack with the double colossals. Again, this is another one, uh, another one, another one. So what I did is shift this cancel animation from the left to, to uh, from the right to the left. So now I can see that whenever the attack is, is done and the character is starting to lift his items, or sorry, his weapons, now I can um, I can cancel 
I can right attack, uh, right hand attack, I can do whatever I want. These are all the animations that I need. And remember, whenever you want to change one of these, you could just go here and look for it. And these are the numbers. I highly suggest that you look for them. You can find them in other uh, animations. Like, for example, I found them from here, I guess. Mm. Yeah, I took them from here. I took them from here. I just clicked copy and paste, control C, and then I went here, control V, and I've arranged them just like the way you see here. And whenever you arrange them correctly, now, uh, whenever you do arrange them correctly, you could highlight them and copy them. And by the way, you can hold shift to add something else. You can hold control to remove one thing from the selection. So, well, the, the, uh, the developer of this program made a huge uh, effort on this program. I hope that this is clear, and I hope that this tutorial was helpful, and uh, have a good day.